Okay, you guys, we're gonna talk about the seated dumbbell overhead press. One of the granddaddy exercises for building up shoulder strength and definition. Um, and, and I wanna point out a couple things that are gonna really help keep your shoulders safe during this exercise and allow you to progress to different variations of this exercise as well. Done safely, this is a fantastic exercise. And I like doing it seated because it takes your back out of the equation. Sometimes when we stand, we tend to arch back, our back overextends, and our back becomes too involved in the movement. Sitting down with our back up against a chair back really helps isolate our shoulders, which is exactly what we wanna do. So we're gonna talk about a seated overhead press, but know that you can do this standing as well. So first thing is, you can hold the dumbbells in a couple different ways. You see a lot of people holding them here, that's fine. You're gonna watch me hold them here, or maybe even here like this. And let me explain that a little bit. Whenever your palms are facing in, it's a little bit more shoulder friendly, especially for the front part of your shoulder. When you have your palms facing away from you, you're gonna put a little more pressure on the front. And with my particular shoulder situation, neutral grip, is by far better for me. So if you have cranky shoulders, you may wanna try a neutral grip. And the, the beauty about that is that you can adjust the neutral grip. They don't have to be exactly facing each other. You can hold them a little bit at an angle, whatever feels best for your shoulders. A lot of flexibility. But I will be using a more of a neutral grip um, just because of my own shoulders. So the key here is to start with the dumbbells sitting above your shoulders right here, okay? Sometimes I see people here, their elbows are tucked. Already, this is putting stress on your shoulders. So let's get them up here. I make sure my shoulders are engaged back, right where they should be in that strong position, okay? And this is the starting point, and this is our ending point. From here, I like to take a big belly breath, and then I press. Now, if you look where I am up top, I like to say your bicep is kind of by your ear, I'm not way out here. I don't even wanna hold it there very long because it's super hard in your shoulders. You want your the dumbbells up over your head, your head's in between, and you can aim for biceps to your ears. That's a great place to, to aim. But what you don't wanna do is have your shoulder at your ear like this. It's not this. There's a distance between my shoulder and my ear at all times, okay? So we're gonna do it again. Starting point is right here. Big belly breath to brace. Up. Oh. Now I'm going to lower right to here. Big mistake I see people make is they come here. And I'm going to do this with one dumbbell so Dan can really zoom in on my shoulder and um, see what's happening here. So if I'm here, I'm up. Now as soon as I lower, watch what happens to my shoulder if I lower too far. See how my shoulder is coming forward? Even if I stop here, my shoulder has come forward a little bit. What that means is we're starting to pinch the front of our shoulder. That's where impingements can happen. You're putting your shoulder at risk when you bring the dumbbell down too low and your shoulder starts rotating forward. So instead, we'll still stick with one dumbbell here. Start here, press up. We're gonna come back down right to there. My shoulder's not forward. Matter of fact, it has to stay on fire right now to keep the dumbbell right here. Here right to here. So see the difference between this and then if I come down too far. My elbow almost comes down, it gets tucked. The other thing you want to think about is having a strong wrist. If I can get Dan to come in and zoom in on my wrist, it's nice and strong. It's not bent back like this. We don't want to press it this way. You want a strong wrist like I'm punching the ceiling. Punch it, bring it down here. And notice I'm kind of playing with the dumbbell position based on what my shoulder feels like, but I'm not lowering my shoulder and elbow down and pinching the front of my shoulder. Super important on an overhead press. Same principle whether you're using both dumbbells or one dumbbell. Just be careful of where you start, end in the same spot, and just don't come down too far and let that shoulder rotate. Other thing, strong wrist, like you're punching the ceiling, and don't ever underestimate the power of a big belly breath and keeping that nice and tight as you're pressing up. That is going to help you tremendously with every single lift that you do, especially this one. So don't forget about that piece as well. 
So that's a basic overhead shoulder press. Start with lighter weight, get the motion down, and then slowly, progressively add weight. Shoulders are tricky. You wanna be really careful and progress very slowly over time. Don't rush this. Um, there's no rush to all of this, so take your time, progress safely. Again, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe, because we're gonna be here a lot more to help you out as much as we can. And if there's anything we can ever do for you that you want Dan and I to film, just let us know in the comments below. Thank you for being here.